Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to make one of the few men who's probably manlier than Chuck Norris, Teddy Roosevelt. And by the way, for this outfit, I'm specifically doing the out. I went mostly off of uh, what they had him wear in Epic Rap Battles of History when he went off against uh, Winston Churchill. But, uh, yeah. Let's do this. Now, no hats. For eyewear, I'm going to recommend the Steel Spectacles. Because he actually did wear glasses. And I don't... I lost my train of thought. I'm sorry. But, yeah. I'm going to go with that. And, uh, moving on. No masks, no bandanas. For neckwear, I went and threw on the dress tie in red. You could throw on purple, you could throw it on on maybe a puff tie or something. Basically, the best I could find is uh, the red dress tie. Moving on. For coats, I need something that hung down probably about like mid-thigh, I guess. So, um, what I chose was the Antion jacket. I don't know how to pronounce it. Just because it was, came in all black and it fit the look. I wouldn't want the Everman jacket, but it didn't come in solid black. It came in like a black pinstripe. The roller jacket could also work, as well as uh, if you wanted to, you might be able to pull off the worst coat in black. But I went with the Antion in twin. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry. Um, for vests, I went with the Paisley vest in black. Just because, uh, at least in the video, he had pinstripes on it. And the best I could do was this. If I wanted to... Because I had, like, the right shape for the lapels, and it was, uh, single-breasted, I guess. Otherwise, I would have wanted something like, uh, the Richfield vest, maybe. But yeah, this is the best I could find. Um, for shirts... Now again, I ran into the same kind of problem I did with when I did like Robert E. Lee and all them, where they had the uh, the shirts that had the rounded collar on them, like the collar didn't have a straight edge to it. Like if you look at the edge of the collar, um, the edge is flat. He actually wore something that had a collar like this, where it was rounded, but I couldn't find any that was just solid white, so I went with the everyday shirt in white. Moving on. Suspenders doesn't really matter. You won't see them. No gauntlets, no gloves, no rings, no belts, no buckles. For weapons equipment, I'm going to say dealer's choice as long as you at least have it fit with the outfit, I guess. Like, I'm actually almost throwing the agency gun belt just because it was basically it matched the outfit pretty well. Um, for weapons trinkets, I actually did throw on the Whitford compass because I'm pretty sure he wore a uh, pocket watch with the chain and all of that, which we need those in Reddit Online because those look slick. Um, for pants, I just threw on the tuxedo pants in black. And for boots, I just threw on the uh, gaiters in solid black as well. Now, I'm going to run on over to the barber shop and uh, let's see what hair oh, I got to use for it. I'm not going to lie, the Epic Rap Owls I was basing this specific outfit off of, probably one of my favorites out of the series. Okay, so for hair, um, I'm sorry about that. So for hair, I went with the thick center parted in... Uh, color six it was dark brown and uh, I put some pomade in it so it actually wasn't poofy and for hair thank you and for hair I want the walrus mustache because it is the best mustache that matches what he had like, I don't think there's actually any mustache that really comes close to it this is literally just it with a goatee. So yeah. 
well, that's going to be it for this video. Um, the next video I'm going to upload will be a, another dressing the part video on bounty hunters. Um, again, I got that idea from the Arizona Ghost Riders. I'm going to put them in the link on... I'm going to put a link to them in the description on that video. But yeah. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Um, I'm going to leave a link to the Discord down below. And uh, feel free to leave a comment asking on what to do next. Because honestly, I don't exactly know. There's no guarantees that I will do them. But there's always a chance. Um, or like, share, and subscribe. I've already said that. I let really let the channel grow. And uh, have a good one. Adios.